So the next topic will be rational inequality. So under that definition, and then how do we solve rational inequality? So these are the following procedure in uh, solving rational inequalities. The first one is get a zero on one side and write the other side as a single rational inequality. Next, factor both numerator and then the denominator. And then uh, identify zeros of numerator and denominator. When we say identify zeros, meaning you need to solve for the values, the value of x. And then draw the number 9 with zeros label. And then determine the sign of the polynomial in each interval. Identify which interval makes or make the inequality true. Write the solution in interval notation. Exclude in the solution the zeros of the denominator. Take note, don't solve in the same way that we've solved equations that contain rational expressions. With equations, the, the first thing that we always did was to clear out the denominators by multiplying by the, by the LCD. That won't work with solving rational inequality. Okay? There's another way to solve rational inequality. It's not the same as the rational equation. Since we don't know the value of x, we can multiply both sides by anything that contains an x. Recall that if we multiply both sides of an inequality, of an inequality by a negative number, we will need to switch the uh, direction of the inequality. However, since we don't know the value of x, we don't know if the denominator is positive or negative. And so we won't know if we need to switch the direction of the inequality or not. Okay, so that's the procedure in solving uh, rational inequality. So for example, okay. so for example, I just give you a, a basic example before we proceed to the much more complicated example. So let's proceed now to rational inequalities. So our second topic is rational inequality or inequalities. Okay. So example number one. So the given is x minus three over x plus two greater than or equal to zero. Okay x minus 3 over x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. So the first procedure is, is that we need to get 0 on the other side. So in this particular example, the other side is already 0. Okay. Next, number 2 procedure. We need to get the factors of your numerator and your denominator. In this particular example, it's already factored. Okay. It's already factored. So we don't need to get the factors because it's already factored. Okay. Let's proceed now to the third procedure. We need to find the zeros of your numerator and your denominator. So in here, when we say find the zeros, we need to get the value of x in your numerator and your denominator. So in this particular, the uh, zero of your numerator is equal to 3. Okay? When we say zeros, we need to get the values of x. And then the other one is x equals negative 2. Okay? So we have 3 and then negative 2. Okay? So we call this 3 and negative 2 are the critical values. Okay? We call it critical values. So we have negative 2 and then 3. Okay? Next procedure. So after we find the zeros, okay, those zeros, those values of x, we call it critical values. Then we can now draw a number 9. Okay? So we have number 9. And then you plot it. So we have negative 2 on the left side and then positive 3 on the right side. So we have positive infinity and then negative infinity. Okay? So in this particular in this particular in this particular uh, sketch negative 2 is it included or not? Negative 2. Is it included or not? Okay, it's not included. So it's open circle. Okay, meaning negative 2, it's not included. Okay, in the given uh, rational inequality. 3, it's included. Okay, except negative 2. 
Why? Because it, because if you substitute negative 2 as in your x variable, the denominator will become 0. So it's not included. Okay. So after that, after we find out that negative 2 and 3, okay, negative 2 is not included and 3 is included, we need to determine the interval or the regions. So in this particular, how many regions or interval do we have? So we do have three intervals or three regions. So the first one, the first um, interval is from negative infinity to negative 2. The second interval will be negative 2 to positive 3. And then the third interval will be neg positive 3 to, neg uh, to positive infinity. So you do have three regions or three intervals. So the first is negative infinity to negative 2 negative 2 to 3, and then 3 to positive infinity. Then, what's next? Next is, you need to think any number within the range of that given interval. So, negative infinity to negative 2, you choose any number, as long as within the range. So, what number you want from negative infinity to negative 2? You choose any number. So, give me a number. What number you want? What number? From negative infinity to negative 2. Any number. Okay, negative 3. Let's say you want negative 3. Okay? As long as within the range. So we have negative 3. What about negative 2 to 3? Negative 2 to 3. Okay, 0. Okay? 3 to positive infinity. What about 3 to positive infinity? Okay, 4. Okay? 4. So after you choose those numbers, okay, within the range, you can now substitute it to your given rational inequality, okay? To your given rational inequality. So negative 3 minus 3 over negative 3 plus 2, what will be the answer? What will be the answer? If you substitute negative 3 in here, what will be the answer? Okay, positive 6. Okay. Positive 6. Next. What about 0? Okay, negative. What about 4? What about 4? Okay, positive. Okay, positive. Now, going back to your inequality. Okay, going back to your inequality. If you have noticed, the inequality symbol is greater than equal. So, greater than, equal. If it's greater than, you choose uh, the uh, interval with a positive sign. Okay? You choose the interval or regions with a positive sign. So, those intervals are negative infinity to negative 2 and then 3 to positive infinity. So, therefore, therefore your solution set, okay? so your solution set is from negative infinity... To negative 2, you said that negative 2 is not included, so meaning it's bracket. Okay? Union, you said that 3 is included. A negative 2 parenthesis because you said it's not uh, included. Union, and then we have bracket. Why is it bracket? Because 3 is included, so we use bracket. Okay? 3 going to positive infinity. Okay? So that is the uh, solution set of a rational inequality. Okay? So the solution set, again, I repeat that the solution set of the given rational inequality, negative infinity to negative 2, so it's parenthesis, since you said that negative 2 is not included, because if you, trans if you uh, substitute negative 2 in your denominator, it will become 0. Okay? So negative 2 is not included. So we need to use uh, parenthesis. Union with 3 to positive infinity, so 3 is, we put bracket, okay, why is it? Since the given is greater than or equal to, so greater than or equal to, so meaning 3 is included, that's why we use bracket, going to positive infinity. So that is the solution set of a rational inequalities, okay? Another example. Let's say the given is x plus 2 over x minus 1 less than or equal to 3. So x plus 2 over x minus 1 less than or equal to 
3. So how do we answer this one? So how do we answer this? How do we answer this? x plus 2 over x minus 1 less than or equal to 3. So first procedure, get uh, the other side. Uh, you need to get 0 on the other side. Okay? Be sure that the other side must be 0. So what will happen to 3? You need to transfer it to the other side. So this will become x plus 2 over x minus 1 minus 3 less than or equal to 0. Then what's next? What's next? We need to make it single fraction. So we need to make it single fraction. So how can we make it single fraction? LCD, which is x minus 1. So x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. That will be 1. Multiply by x plus 2. So you do have x plus 2. Okay. x minus 1 divided by 1, since the denominator of 3 is 1. Okay. Obviously, that the, whole, the denominator of whole number is 1. So x minus 1 divided by 1, that is x minus 1. Multiply by negative 3, so you do have negative 3 multiplied by x minus 1. Less than or equal to 0. Okay. So you need to simplify it. So you do have x plus 2 minus 3x plus 3 over x minus 1, less than or equal to 0. Okay. So we need to simplify it. So we have negative uh, 2x plus 5 over x minus 1, less than or equal to 0. Okay. So negative 2x plus 5, it's already factored. And then x minus 1 is already factored. We cannot factor out that one. Okay. So you cannot get the uh, factors of your numerator and denominator because in this particular example it's already simplified it's already factored okay so what's next next is we need to get the uh, zeros of your numerator and your denominator so in here what will be the zeros so what will be your zeros so we have negative 2x plus 5 equals 0 and then the other one is x minus 1 equals 0 so the first one is what what's the first value of x Is it negative 5 halves? Okay, so you do have 5 halves. And then the other one is 1. Okay, 5 halves and 1. Then what's next? So after we simplify that, we can determine the, uh, we can determine the, the uh, critical values. So the, the critical values, we have 5 halves and 1. So after we determine the critical values, which is 5 halves and 1, you need to draw a, a number 9 and then you plot it, okay? So we have 1 and then 5 halves. So basically, 1 first and then 5 halves. So positive infinity, negative infinity, okay? The question is, 1, is it included or not? And then 5 halves, okay, it's not included, okay? So it should be an open circle. What about 5 halves? Since the given is less than or equal to, do we need to include 5 halves? Okay, yes. Yeah, 2.5. Okay. Now, let's proceed now. So you do have three interval. Okay, so the first interval is from negative infinity to 1. So this is your first interval. The second interval is 1 to 5 halves. And then the third is 5 halves to positive infinity. Okay? So what's next? Next is you need to select or choose a, a number within the range. Okay? You need to choose a number within the range. So what are those numbers? Negative infinity to 1. Give me a number. Okay, 0. 1 to 5 halves. Okay, 2. 5 halves to positive infinity. Okay, 3. Okay. And then you substitute that here. Okay. You substitute that here. After we already simplified the given original inequality. So you just substitute here. So what would be the sign of the first interval? Why do we just substitute here? Because your values came from this, okay, came from this. So what will be the sign? What will be the sign after you substitute?
Want to be the sign? I'll tell you substitute. Zero. Substitute here. What would, what would be the sign? Okay, negative. Just simply substitute. Next. Two. Substitute here. Positive. Three, substitute. No, okay, negative. Okay, negative. Now, going back. Going back. X plus 2 over X minus 1 less than or equal to 3. So, if it is less than, if it is less than, we choose the interval or regions with a negative sign. A negative sign. So, therefore, what is the solution set? So therefore, what is the uh, solution set? So the uh, solution set will be negative infinity to 1, okay, parenthesis, because 1 is not included, union with, with what? Union with what? Okay, 5 halves. So it's included, so you do a, okay. So bracket, 5 halves, going to positive infinity. So that is the uh, solution set of the given rational inequalities. Okay. Next number three. X over X minus two, less than three, minus two over X minus two. So how do we answer number three? How do we answer number three? X over X minus two less than three minus two over X minus two. So how do we answer that? How do we answer that? How do we answer that? X over X minus two less than three minus two over X minus two. How do we answer that? Okay. Okay, so we have x over x minus 2 plus 3 plus 2 over x minus 2. Negative 3 plus 2 over x minus 2 less than 0. Okay, then what's next? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay x plus 2 over x minus 2 minus 3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, less than 0. Okay. So you do have x plus 2 minus 3x minus 6 over x minus 2 less than 0. So you have negative 2x plus 8 over x minus 2 less than 0. Now what's next? What's next? What's next? After this, negative 2x plus 8 over x minus 2 less than 0. What's next? Okay, so we have 2x plus 8 equals 0, and then another one x minus 2 equals 0. So the first value is what? Negative 4, sure. Okay, plus 4. And then another one is, okay, 2. And then draw a number 9. So since the given inequality is only less than, okay, less than, so meaning 4 and 2 are not included, because less than, less than, so less than, there's no uh, equality symbol. So we have 2 and then 4. Okay. So 2 is not included, obviously, because it will become a 0, the denominator will become 0. The same thing with 4, it's not included, okay, since the given inequality is only less than. So we do have, after we plot those 
critical values that we have. So we do have three regions. So the first region is from negative infinity to 2, and then the second region is 2 to 4, and then the third region is positive infinity to, I mean, uh, 4 to positive infinity. Okay, so you do have three regions or three intervals. So the first inter interval, negative infinity to 2, second is 2 to 4, and then 4 to positive infinity. Okay, so what will be the sign of the first interval? You can choose any number within the range. So in the first interval, what number you want? It's up to you. As long as, with, as long as within the range. Okay, zero. We choose zero, and then this one, the second interval. Okay, three, and then, okay, five. So what will be the sign of the first interval? What will be the sign of the first interval? So what will be the sign of the first interval? Negative. Next. Second interval. Positive. Next. We need to substitute here. Uh, here. Because all your values came from this. Okay. Next. Third interval. sign. Okay. So therefore, your solution set will be what? Your solution set will be negative infinity to 2, 2 it's not included, so it's parenthesis, union with, 4 it's not included, why is it? Because the given is only less than, okay? Less than inequality. So we have 4 going to positive infinity, okay? So the answer is negative infinity to 2, it's not included, so parenthesis, and then 4 to positive infinity. So 4, it's not also included. Since the only given inequality symbol is less than, okay? So that's number three. Next example. So how do we answer number four? X over X plus three minus three over three minus X greater than X plus nine over X squared minus nine. So how do we answer number four? How do we answer number four? Any idea? What's the first procedure? What's the first procedure in answering the uh, rational inequality? What's the first procedure? You need to make the other side must be zero. So the other side must be zero. So what will happen to x plus nine over x squared minus 9. So you need to transfer it to the other side. So that will become x over x plus 3 minus 3 over 3 minus x minus x plus 9 over x squared minus 9 greater than 0. Then what's x? What's x people? Okay, so how can we make a single fraction? How can we make it single? Okay, so what's the LCD? What's the LCD? What's the LCD? What's the LCD in this particular? What's the LCD? In this particular, what's the LCD? What's the LCD in this particular? Any idea what's there, what, what, what is the LCD in this particular uh, example? X squared minus 9, if you get the factor of that one, that will be X plus 3, X minus 3. I may write. 
the uh, factors of x squared minus 9 is x plus 3 and then x minus 3. Okay? In this particular example that we have, what have you noticed regarding 3 minus x? What have you noticed regarding 3 minus x? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to get, you need to factor out a uh, negative here so that you can determine, you can determine the LCD, okay? If you will not uh, simplify 3 minus x, or if you will not get the, uh, if you will not uh, bring up negative to 3 minus x, you cannot determine the LCD. So to determine the LCD, you need to bring up negative x, okay? So what do you mean by that? So this will become x over x plus 3 minus 3 over negative negative 3 plus x okay negative multiplied by negative 3 plus x is the same as 3 minus x okay negative multiplied by negative 3 plus x is the same as 3 minus x okay we need to factor out or we need to bring out negative so that we can identify the lcd of the given inequality okay so to make it a single fraction minus x plus 9 over x plus 3 x minus 3 greater than 0 so in this particular you can now determine what is the lcd so the lcd will be x plus 3 x minus 3 okay x plus 3 x minus 3, that's the LCD. So let's continue. So the LCD, x plus 3 and x minus 3. So let's continue. So we do have x over x plus 3. So simplify this one. Negative divided by negative. So plus 3 over x minus 3 minus x plus 9 over x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 greater than zero okay. so the lcd is x plus 3 x minus 3 so what will be your numerator x plus 3 x minus 3 divided by x plus 3 so you need to get rid of x plus 3 and x plus 3 so what is left is x minus 3 multiplied by x so you do have x times x minus 3 plus this one LCD divided by x minus 3. So if you divide x plus 3, x minus 3 by x minus 3, so you will cancel out x minus 3 and then x minus 3. So what is left is 3 multiplied by x plus 3. Okay. Minus x plus 3, x minus 3 divided by x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3, that will become 1. Okay. Now cancel na lahat, so 1 na lang. And then multiply it by x plus 9. greater than 0. Okay. So you do have x squared minus 3x plus 3x plus 9 minus x minus 9 over x plus 3 x minus 3 greater than 0. Okay. Can still follow? Can still follow? Can still follow? Can you, can you still follow? Okay. Then you simplify. So you do have x squared. Cancel negative 3x and then positive 3x. 9 and then negative 9. So you do have x squared minus x over x plus 3. x minus 3 greater than 0. Okay. Then what's next? What's next, people? You need to get the factors of your numerator and your denominator. So numerator and then your denominator. So we need to get the factors of this one. So what would be the idea factor of x squared minus x? So the factor of x squared minus x, that would be x multiplied by x minus 1 over x plus 3 over x minus 3. Okay? We don't need to get the factor of your denominator because it's already factored. Greater than 0. So after we get the factors of your numerator and your denominator, you can now determine the critical values, okay, or the zeros of your numerator and your denominator. So in here, what are your zeros? 
to determine the zeros, you need to equate each factor by zero. So we have, for, for the numerator, so we have x equals zero. And then the other one is x minus one equals zero. So, and then the other one is x plus three equals zero. And then x minus three equals zero. So what are your critical values? First, we do have x equals zero. The second is x equals one. The next is x equals negative three. And then the last will be negative, uh, positive three. So the critical values that we have is zero, one, negative three, and then three, okay? So we now draw a number line. After we determine the uh, zeros, or the values of x, or the critical values. So we need to plot it. So we have negative three, of course, from negative infinity to negative three. Next, we do have zero, and then we do have one, and then we do have positive three. Going to three to positive infinity, okay? So since the given inequality is uh, greater than only, okay, there, there's, no ine uh, there's no equality symbol, only greater than, so more or less, all the given critical values are not included, okay? So they're not included. Since only the given is greater than, there's no equality symbol, so they're not included. Okay? So how many intervals do we have? So there are one, two, three, four, five intervals, or five regions. So the first interval is negative infinity to negative three, the second interval, negative 3 to 0. The third interval, 0 to 1. The fourth interval is 1 to 3. And then the last is 3 to positive infinity. Okay? Now, each interval, you need to select or choose a number as long as within the range. So what are those numbers? From the first interval, so from the first interval, Negative infinity to negative 3. Give me a number. Negative infinity to negative 3. Okay, negative 4. Next. Negative 3 to 0. Negative 3 to 0. Okay, negative 2. 0 to 1. 0 to 1. Remember that 0 is not included. Within the range. Within the range. Okay. Okay, one half. Next. One to three, obviously. Two. Okay. Three to infinity. Three to infinity. Three to positive infinity. What about three to positive? What? Okay, four. Okay. And then you substitute it here. You substitute it here. Because all your critical values, all your zeros came from this. So you need to substitute it here. So what will be the sign of the first interval? So what will be the sign of the first interval? Okay, positive. Next. Substitute negative 2. You substitute here. Okay, negative. And then one half, you substitute it here. If x is one half, what is the uh, sign of that particular uh, expression? If x is one half, just simply substitute. So one half multiplied by one half minus one over one half plus three multiplied by one half minus three. So what will be the sign? I'm after the sign. Okay, positive. Next, two. Substitute uh, 2 here. So 2 multiplied by 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 3 multiplied by 2 minus 3. So what will be the sign? Positive, negative, 1. Is it positive, negative, 1? Okay, negative. Next, what about 4? What about 4? Substitute. So 4 multiplied by 4 minus 1 over 4 plus 3 multiplied by 4 minus 3. Okay, positive. So therefore, going back to your inequality 
uh, rational inequality the given is greater than. So if it's greater than, we choose uh, an interval with positive sign. Okay? We choose an interval with positive sign. So what are those interval? That will be negative infinity to negative 3, 0 to 1, and then 3 to positive infinity. Okay? So therefore, what is your solution set? So your solution set will be negative infinity to negative 3, parenthesis, because 3 is not included, because the only given is greater than. Okay? One equality symbol. Union, so we have parenthesis, 0 to 1, parenthesis, and then union, 3 to positive infinity. Okay? So the solution set of number for rational inequality is negative infinity to negative 3, parenthesis, union with parenthesis 0 to 1, union with 3 to positive infinity. Okay? So that is rational inequalities. Okay? That is 